Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of the best resources available to every trainer in Brilliant Diamond and Shannon Pearl. So this one's gonna be quite quick today, friends, but this is gonna be a really valuable resource for a lot of you in Brilliant Diamond, Shannon Pearl. I was scrolling through Reddit last week. Let me pull the post up. And as you can see here, uh, I, I stumbled across this, created an interactive map of the Grand Underground in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So huge credit going out to uh, Dragon Eagle 88, who I believe is the creator of this interactive map that's there for everyone to use. And um, I checked it out and it is brilliant. And I wish, one thing I would say, I wish I'd found it earlier because it would have been so useful for so many things uh, that you want to do in Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl. So if we come over to it, there is a link in the description. I'll link the original Reddit post and the, um, the interactive map here brings you over to this site and you've got a map of the underground. You've got obviously all the main kind of caverns here, Stargleam Cavern, uh, Stillwater Cavern, all of those um, and the different five areas of the uh, the underground. So you can, you can use this scroll down menu here and you can hide all, show all, so you can show everything. It's a bit of a mess if you're zoomed out like we are now. But one of the things that you can do, you can see points of interest here. So if you want to see where all of the, the large sphere traders are, we've just done um, a money guide on the channel. So this is going to be really useful for those of you that want to find those large uh, sphere traders. And you can come into the map, it'll locate them all, every single cavern where they are, uh, or where they are in reference to certain caverns and things like that, which is really good. Uh, you can also do it with the small sphere traders as well uh, see where they're located around the game so if you you need to locate them then that's going to be super easy you've got the base expanders as well so you can see where they are if you want to expand your your base and um, you can see where they are around the uh, thing and then the medics as well if you're in a tight uh, position in game and you need to heal up quickly you're not close to a pokemon center or if you're in the underground and you want to grab one then i guess uh, the medics are there as well for you to be able to see you've got all the different uh, hideaways as well so the different every single cavern is listed in here and the nice thing about this is each different area so if you want to go on dazzling clave which is the one from celestic tan you want to go into this you uh you just click on dazzling clave here and it'll bring up a little map and then you want to click this and it'll take you to a page with all of the the um the wild pokemon that appear in this cavern how rare they are the rare spawns what you can get which game they're gonna appear in um and then you know available obtaining after strength so it's got all the details here after defog uh the icicle badge so it's it's literally such a good resource and it's got full pages full of these so we can go back to the the actual map here but yeah you can click on any of the caverns and you'll have the same thing like that so yeah you've got the caverns so you can check the in individual Pokemon in there. You can find out miscellaneous items, where they're located, where they've been found and things like that. So you can go down to the Glacial Cavern here. You can get leftovers in there. You can get a Dawnstone from this cavern in this region. So you literally can scroll through all of these, see there's rare candies there. There'll be two of them in the underground. You can locate them and then go and find them. But the, the biggest thing, the same with the TMs, but the biggest thing I felt was really useful was the ability and the list here of NPC characters for the Spiritomb quest because we did a guide on the channel and it is very difficult to kind of pinpoint where the, the NPCs are. You need to speak to 32 individual NPCs. And this is a, a such a good resource for that alone where you can click on this just show the NPCs and you can go into the different various uh, underground areas and see where these NPCs appear what their names are and when you've seen them you can then come over tick them off until you've got the whole list of 32 here and it's going to be such a good resource for this entire thing you know um, and i felt just for this alone it was worth doing a video on because it will help so many of you be able to kind of find these npcs a lot quicker as well as the other things that are available in the underground so like i say that is pretty much all i wanted to do a video on today it was very quick but i feel like 
it's such a good tool to, to take advantage of and huge shout outs to the developers for this because it's something that is going to really help a lot of trainers and um, if you do find it helpful definitely give them a bit of love on reddit on that post and um, obviously post down in the comments below and let me know what your thoughts are and definitely share it around with your friends because it's something that I feel like everyone should be using it's just one of those resources that you're very thankful it's there like I say I wish I found it a few weeks ago now on the release did but you know these things take time to to put together but it's um it's great that it's there now so let me know like i say down in the comment section what your thoughts are on this tool and uh, hope you found it useful friends have a great rest of your day and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye